topic of today's video is not one that I enjoy making at all, but sometimes something is just so bad that it can't be ignored. You got away with the words, hope I'm worth your time. Oh, I love it when you look so fine. Confident and humble. You ain't gotta try. Be the peak of my life. That's a mountain that I'll climb. Yeah, and I'm kind of confused. You ain't got a single flaw to me. What is it muse? And if I, if I can stop it to the pit and take a crack at it, we be living with a purpose. Back to a reminiscent memory of when I wasn't sad. Now I'm feeling like it's cool to be mad. To hate, to cry, to make everybody feel like they just can't be what they want to be. I don't want to ever believe that I cannot do anything I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do anything. We can do anything. We can do anything. First and foremost, guys, thank you always for watching. If you don't know, I am doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, which should be coming up pretty soon. It's a Escort 360 Passport Max uh, radar detector. Um, but the purpose of today's video is uh, in my position as an automotive vlogger, automotive journalist, whatever you want to call it, um, many, many people ask for advice on products, services, stuff like that. And one thing that you have to remember is obviously when you're in this space, your name and your reputation for recommending, you know, reasonable products and, and companies that do well is gold. And if you start selling yourself out to companies who don't really match the match the criteria or match the culture that matches the car scene and the quality that car lovers and car owners come to know and love you know it's it tarnishes very quickly and if you guys don't know I put out a four wheel parts video earlier this year gained a lot of traction and actually made corporate reach out to me I didn't want to have to make one again it's not about four wheel parts obviously I didn't want to have to cross this bridge again but CarID.com really, really threw shade on my name. Before we get into the video, guys, I did trade out the ADD for a different camera. So if you like the 4K video, please give me a thumbs up. Let's get into it. it put you guys somewhere a little more stable. So the long and short of it is, uh, my dad has a Toyota Tundra. Winter is coming for them. Snow season is coming, and this year they decided. Uh, Let's get some seat covers for the Tundra. Not just any like throw over seat covers from AutoZone. They wanted like a nice neoprene, you know, form fitting set that looked OEM, that was a great quality, you know, that would keep their interior protected during the snow season. Obviously, they live in Oregon. So, you know, uh, saying, oh, hey, our, our son is in the automotive space. Let's reach out to him and find out kind of what is going to be a good, viable product for us. Now this is no reflection on the manufacturer of the seat covers because we never received them or they never received them. But um, I recommended to go through Car ID because Car ID has always done pretty good by me in the past. I haven't ordered anything from them since I had my 2014 Ram 1500. So uh, probably three or four years ago, I haven't ordered anything from them. But I, I sold them to my dad as kind of the Amazon of, of car parts where, you know, they take care of everything. It's super fast shipping. You know, any problems, they take care of it. And I couldn't have been more wrong. So this happened when I was home back in the beginning of September. Current day, we're talking about, about October 18th. You know, and I understand these, these seat covers that they ordered weren't like, just like I said, a generic kind of throw on seat cover that, you, that they keep in stock but fit a bunch of vehicles. These were custom stitched, custom created to fit that exact interior. So we understood that there was a two or three week lead time. However, two or three weeks pass, four weeks pass. So my dad calls Car ID and says, hey guys, just wanted to get, a, get an update. They called the manufacturer because obviously they're just a third party drop shipper of this product and they said, hey, you know, give us one more week. It'll ship out on Friday, which at this point I think was gonna be like October 4th or, you know, that week, whatever that Friday ends up being. Nothing happens, nothing happens. He leaves it another week. Now we're up to October, the area of October 10th, you know, and he calls back, says, hey, you know what, guys? It's been over six weeks. They called the manufacturer. The manufacturer says, we haven't even started creating these seats. And not only have we not started to create them, we don't even know when we're gonna start to create them. So dad says, hey, you know what guys? No big deal, just, just cancel the order. They haven't even started to be created. I'm um, six weeks past, you know, when I ordered them, winter's right around the corner and we're trying to get this done. So 
just cancel. Car ID tells him, we're gonna give you a store credit, man. We're gonna set you up with a store credit. You know, and, and, and he says, no, no go. You know what I mean? Because based on this, we're, we're not gonna be doing business again. So I call him uh, Monday. Monday would have been like the 24th. Say, hey, how'd, how'd the seat covers go? Did you get them yet? And that's when I find out this whole story. So I call Car ID on the same Monday, the 24th, and, and explain that he's going to be getting a refund. And uh, on Tuesday, he does get the full refund, or the email that says he's getting a refund. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But the person I spoke to, I think it was Valerie. Valerie, and because of Car ID, if you're watching this, I want you to hook Valerie up with a thank you from, from Jay flat out. I called you guys on the 26th of October from a number that ends in 1950. I'm not sure what time it was, but because I called you off my spoof number app because I don't want you guys having my real number. But either way, Valerie, or whatever your name was, I spoke to Valerie, who's a supervisor, and I explained to her, you know, hey, my dad's been having all these problems. I would love to get this resolved, and uh, I would actually like to speak with somebody about maybe doing some exposure videos for you or showing you guys kind of, you know, the process to kind of make up for this shortcoming and show that, hey, this was just a one-time situation. I said, do you have a, a PR representative or a media representative? And she goes, you know what? Just send our generic email on the website a problem uh, just send the generic email on our website an email and somebody somebody will get back to you whatever I'm like no I, I get what you're saying Valerie but what I'm saying is is there somebody specific that I could talk to to cover this issue but can be more diplomatic than you about it because you're being very abrasive every time my dad called they were very abrasive with him didn't give a crap what was going on didn't give a care, care that he'd already spent $350 on some seat covers and nothing was happening. So the person I spoke to was so-so, not bad, six out of 10 on the customer service level, but Valerie, Valerie got a two. You're still not as bad as Michael from Four Wheel Parts, but uh, but you know what, Valerie, like you pretty much a, a two out of 10 on the customer service level. So she kept talking over me, kept talking over me, and I'm trying to explain to her what we're trying to resolve. And every time I start talking, she just bumps me off and starts giving me the the generic customer service, get you off the fucking phone answer. So I ask her like three or four times, could you stop talking over me so we could just like have a conversation about this situation and get it resolved? And she goes, you know what? If we can't come to agreement, you have a good day and hangs up the phone. <laughs> Man, when you work in a call center, you can't just hang up the phone on somebody because you're not getting what you want. You're not getting your way. And it's like, this is the type of stuff that Car ID, I guess, their core values goes by. Because she wouldn't give me the opportunity to find out who was above her. She wouldn't give me the opportunity how we could get this situation resolved because you know, I told her I feel stupid because I'm a I'm an automotive logger. I'm an automotive journalist. I cover all things automotive. I I recommended you not not even to subscribers because you guys you guys are my family. Anybody watching this video, you are my family. But my blood family, I recommended you guys to my father, and you you treated him like shit. He was patient with you for almost two months, and you still treated him like shit. And then tried to tell him that you you aren't getting your money back. So, so not good. So at one point, I would have told you guys, you know what, Car ID, they have pretty much every part for every car, great, great service. But now, after this fiasco, I'd stay away, man. Auto Anything, still good in my book. I've ordered a lot of things from Auto Anything. They take care of me, but, but you know what, guys, all those resellers, if you can, go directly to the manufacturer. Go directly to the, to the person creating the product, because they're gonna be the ones that put the heart and soul into the product. They're gonna be the ones that stand behind it. They're gonna be the ones that actually care. You know, and, and the, the companies that you see on this channel are hand-picked. I use them on my car, but I've gotten free promo stuff in the web, in the mail before, and uh, I've tried it out on the truck, or I've tried it out on a buddy's car, and I won't even cover it. And there are people are reaching out, emailing, hey, 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 where's our video, where's our video? And I said, I've told them before, hey, you know what, guys? I'm not gonna give you a good a good shout out on this because it's not what I would put on my car 
and I'm not gonna tell subscribers to put it on their car just because you sent, sent me some $40 shit for free, okay? You guys know I only rep good products. I only rep products that I would use myself. That's why I have no problem putting out slam videos when they're earned, and unfortunately this one is earned. So car ID, if you'd like to reach out, you can email this email. I know it looks like a joke, but it's not. It will actually get to me. I'd love to hear from you about how to how to rectify this or how to maybe drag your name out the mud in the J Flat Out community. But that's it for me, guys. Like I would just tell you, be very wary dealing with this company because once they have your money, it's it's a call center, it's a web-based business. So once they have your money. You can't go down there and like talk to somebody face to face. And if you do get through to a supervisor at their call center and you don't do what they want or they, or you don't act how they want in their script, click. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Sorry I got kind of intense. I just really, really hate it when, when companies won't take care of their people and companies won't take care of the people who recommend them and companies won't stand behind their service stand behind their product so that's it car id like i said you've seen the email if you want to reach out um, and resolve this but guys like i said just just be wary and if you do buy online you know from from places like that make sure you use a credit card so you can always dispute the charge with your bank if they won't won't work with you um, i'm going to start the vlog in a separate video because obviously this one i want to keep on topic but guys thank you all for watching please subscribe it's not always a slam video, so, you know, often we do make <laughs> a regular automotive content. I will be at SEMA, but this video is coming out after SEMA, so check out my SEMA videos if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next video. Oh, yeah. Yeah,